ऑल यू आर वॉचिंग सिमिलिंग ट्यूटोरियल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू प्लॉट हिस्टोग्राम ऑफ एन इमेज एंड हाउ टू स्ट्रेच द हिस्टोग्राम एंड हाउ इट अफेक्ट्स द इमेज एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू राइट द स्क्रिप्ट फॉर हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉटिंग एंड हिस्टोग्राम स्ट्रेचिंग एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द सेम स्क्रिप्ट इन द सिम्यूलिंग मॉडल बाय रिमूविंग फ्यू फंक्शंस विच आर नॉट सपोर्टेड फॉर कोडजन बट the simulating part will be done in next tutorial so for this tutorial we will be concentrating on only the scripting part and i hope that we learn few new commands so let's get started so this is image processing so we need one image so that we can perform operation on it so i have this image that is landscape.jpg in my current directory you can keep it in current directory or if you keep it somewhere else then make sure that you give the right path in the script now let's see the script so bd close all clear and clc as usual at the beginning of the script then we need to read the image so for that we will be using im read that is image reading function and in parenthesis the name of the image with its extension so if you see here in my current directory there is one more image that is dog underscore img dot jpeg so if i want to use that image then i have to give the extension as dot jpeg but this image that is landscape it has extension jpg so i have given dot jpg for landscape image so if you have image with png extension then use png and so on so the output of i am read is stored in the matrix i okay so moving ahead so the image i have chosen is rgb image so basically it is made up of three color codes so we need to convert this image to grayscale image so to do that we use command rgb to gray and in parenthesis output variable name from im read function that is i so rgb to gray in parenthesis capital i so img underscore mat that is image mat will be rgb to gray conversion of i next we need the size of image matrix so to obtain that we use the function size that is sizd in parenthesis name of the matrix whose size we want to obtain so image underscore mat and the output will be m comma n so m will be number of rows and n will be number of columns for that matrix so we have converted the image to grayscale image and the number of bits to represent each colors are 8 so bit level is equal to 8 so we have defined this variable that is bit level whose value is 8 so how many combinations of ones and zeros will be for 8 bit data so bit underscore combination is equal to 2 raised to bit level that's how we calculate the bit combination for binary so till now we have image matrix size of matrix bit level and combination of ones and zeros okay now let's take a pause for processing and talk about histogram so histogram is a graphical representation of how many times the pixel appeared in the image so it shows how many times each pixel intensity is in a particular image so that's what histogram is so now how to get the count for each pixel intensity so hist underscore data is a vector variable i have defined here of length total number of bit combinations so it will store each pixel intensity count sequentially so first value of hist underscore data will have counts of zero pixel intensity and second value will have counts of one pixel intensity 
and so on till 255. Now to calculate the counts of each pixel intensity we apply for loop. So since image is 2D matrix loop will be for 1 to m and 1 to n. So for i is equal to 1 colon m it will increase with step size of 1 by default and then second for loop that is for j equal to 1 colon n and inside this for loop we write the logic for counting the pixel intensities. So if you want to know how the basic for loop in scripting works you can watch the video for for loop to do that click on the eye icon on the right corner of your screen or you can click on the link in the description below so for loop now val is the index of hist underscore data which goes from 1 to 256 but the image representation goes from 0 to 255 pixel intensities so add 1 to pixel intensity to have the location of hist underscore data which will store the count so in this case image underscore mat in bracket i comma j gives us the pixel intensity plus one gives us the location or the index of his underscore data where we can store the value of count so val is the index of his underscore data so each time we add one to the value of counts at location val of his underscore data so in the same loop we assign that count to his underscore data's val location okay and then we end the for loop so twice end okay so next the concept of contrast so contrast is the difference between maximum and minimum pixel intensity so the image i am using has low contrast so to increase the contrast we will stretch the histogram and see the results so to stretch the histogram this is a simple formula that is subtract minimum pixel intensity from actual pixel intensity and divide it by difference of maximum and minimum pixel intensity and multiply it with total number of combinations so bit combination minus one which gives us 255 so this for loop does that and how we calculate the minimum and maximum pixel intensity so to do that use max and min function okay so max of image matrix going from 1 to m rows comma 1 to n rows gives us the maximum pixel but it gives us the vector okay so it gives us the maximum value of each row and we need to calculate the maximum value from that vector also so max pix underscore vector is a vector of maximum values of each row and then max of max underscore pix underscore vector gives us the maximum value from that vector so in the end we have maximum value of the pixel intensity on similar line we first calculate the minimum pixel intensities from each row and then we calculate the minimum pixel intensity from the vector we obtained okay so we have minimum and maximum pixel intensity that we use in this for loop and in the for loop the transformation gives us the stretched image okay on similar line as we did for the original image we calculate the pixel intensities counts for histogram and similarly we calculate maximum and minimum pixel intensity for stretched image and then for mathematical calculation to find out the contrast of both the images we perform this subtraction that is old contrast is equal to maximum pixel minus minimum pixel intensity and new contrast is equal to maximum pixel 
intensity of new image minus the minimum pixel intensity of the new image okay and to plot the figure we have used the subplot function so that we can have all four plots in one figure so subplot 2 comma 2 comma 1 gives us the plot of histogram of old image then the second that is 2 comma 2 comma 2 subplot gives us the old image so to plot the image or to show the image the function i am show is used here okay then subplot 2 comma 2 comma 3 is used to plot histogram of new image so stem in parenthesis 0 to bit combination minus 1 so bit combination is 256 so 0 to 255 on x axis comma histogram data new on y axis for old image it was just hist underscore data okay and then subplot 2 comma 2 comma 4 is used to show the image that is new image stretched image so i am show is again used here so what subplot function does is it plots data or figure in matrix form so 2 comma 2 comma 1 plot is plotted on 1 comma 1 location of matrix then 2 comma 2 comma 2 is plotted at 1 comma 2 location 2 comma 2 comma 3 is plotted at 2 comma 1 location and 2 comma 2 comma 4 is plotted at 2 comma 2 location after simulation when figure appears you'll know how it appears okay so let's just save this file and run So we'll observe the figure later, we'll go to workspace first. So if you look in the workspace, the maximum pixel intensity for old image was 208 and minimum pixel intensity was 114. So the difference between the pixel intensity was 94. Okay. For new image, it is going from 0 to 255 so it has contrast of 255 the difference is 255 so it is higher okay now we'll have a look at the figure so you can see here for old image the pixel intensities are common that is ranging from 100 plus to 200 something okay so the distribution or the use of pixel intensities or the variation in image is very less so this old image appears very dull now if you have a look at the new image histogram you can see the distribution of pixel intensities is much larger so the contrast is higher so you can see the old histogram is now stretched in new histogram okay and if you have a look at the new image it appears much better than old image so here the look is very clear okay so that's how we plot the histogram of an image and that's how we stretch the histogram and increase the contrast of the image okay so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning